Hey guys, it's Smitty, and for today's video, I wanted to showcase how I have learned this wipe to reliably clear out the rogue compound for all my lighthouse quests. The reason why this wipe is different than the prior ones is that the rogue spawns are almost entirely random. And because of that, it's made the route change in the sense that you're going to need to bring grenades to check certain pockets of the compound to see if groups of rogues have spawned in on the ground. And also they move around on the tops of the buildings more and they spawn in different areas. But besides that, it's similar to prior wipes if you started your route on the right side of the compound. Now, as far as what you need to bring into the raid, I really don't rececommend anything that isn't a 308 or 762 by 54 r gun because you're not going to be able to one tap the rogues from range. So something like a lightly modded SVD, SR25 or an RFB would work perfect. Also, you want to make sure you bring around three nades, which I think is the perfect number. And I'm going to go into detail in the video later as to why. But with that said, let's hop straight into the run we recorded in real raids on stream where I explain how to do the route. Always go right side, chat. Never go left side. Way too inconsistent now from what I've seen. Does this run work while they're already aggro? Yeah. Is there a consistent right side method? If you bring grenades, I think there is. But you have to realize that, like, all their spawns now are completely random. Pretty much, anyways. So there's no, like, dead set rules for this. Besides go right side and, like, do certain free aims and throw nades at certain spots to check for them. This is what I've found success with this so far, this wipe. Like from right here, typically what I want to do, right? The only times I've died to rogues and it wasn't like getting shot through walls or like a truck has been to these guys right here. You like want to check to see if they're here and they're like looking towards your side of the, of the building and then take out these guys. Like, what's probably going to happen now is I'm going to move up here. And then that rogue is probably going to move onto one of the MGs. Which isn't, like, a problem. I'll just kill him over there. You just don't want to get shot from one of these, like, random spawns. That isn't guaranteed on the roof when going into this building. And then once you do go into this building, you go into this right room over here and you just kind of pause for a second. You can loot, and they might come down and chase you, but you just catch them on, like, a right hand. See, they're coming down. And I die to a silent nade because this patch is completely broken. Or not. Might be a cheater. Yeah, I'm gonna go with cheater. Looks like we're chilling. That guy isn't up. This one is though. Make sure we're pain pillared up. Push on in again, go to the right side, just like we did last time before we were so rudely interrupted. See if anything aggro's on us and they come down from the roof. Just heard running. It sounds like he's coming down. Sometimes it's one if they come down, or, you know, it's like up to three sometimes. Normal scav. Anyways, from here... 
You typically just want to go and uh, peek through this door crack and look at the MG that you just cleared. Because if there's another rogue that spawned on the roof, they can hop on that MG. Alright, what is going on here? And sometimes if there's like a pack of rogues that spawn down, uh, they can be out there. So you just want to make sure you don't get gathered when you go look through the door crack. From here, it's pretty safe to just run across. I don't really take like a specific route, but I think if you go behind this crate, it's probably better. I assume rogues can move into this building, but I just never see them in here. But the main pack of rogues that I see on the ground that move around that are a random spawn that kill me are out here. Which I'll throw a nade to see if they aggro on me. That's like why you want to bring M67s. And from here you take out this MG gunner. You can also take out the AGS gunner. Or not the AGS, the other MG gunner I guess. And then, because we didn't clear this from the front, we come to the back, and then this MG guy right here can be up, but nothing's on it. And then you can go over to this pipe and actually look at the AGS again on the roof and see if anything moved to it. Now, when you throw the nade to go and check this over here to see if any, uh, like, random spawn rogues are there roaming around, if there's one on the roof that's over on this side, he should yell. But, uh, you know, Tarkov, so be careful. But from here, you can just push over and it's pretty chill. I like to throw another nade as well when I get over here because behind this building, there's like a pack of them that can sit. Seems like we're good, though. But from here, you've opened up the entire road compound for all of your quests. You don't have to kill the two up there. I've never had to kill those two up there. I guess the only quest that you would have to kill them for is if you want to go mark the tank at the very front of the compound. But to kill them, you just go and get like a right hand on one of these uh, barriers up here. Everything behind you should be dead. He's not up. And then the other one that would be over by the MG. I don't know if he's going to be up either. Typically, they're really slow to aggro on you. They don't like to hop off their guns until you kill one. You like this one? He's chilling. That should be everything dead. We can just go run around in the middle now. The only thing you have to worry about is scabs. So I guess it could happen where there could be a pack of rogues that spawn in over by the helicopter here. But chances are, by the time you've already ran around the other side of the road compound, they would have moved or interacted with you or like ran at you when you were sitting in the first building or when you threw a nid. But that's pretty much it. Can you clear them from warehouse one side? That used to be the old Rengar route. But Ranga just keeps dying to the MG guy on the roof now. And I haven't died to a single MG yet doing this. Yeah, the MG right there. The only times I've died while doing this route have been um, one of these packs of raiders or rogues that spawn out here before I started throwing the M67 grenades. Because I'd run out here and they'd be like in these bushes and I wouldn't hear anything. And I'd get jumped by them like trying to get to that truck. Or I'd just die like by them shooting through that truck. No, they're harder, Drew, because they're random. The chances of you getting like RNG'd or them being in a bad spot. Like, you know, the old days where Rango would literally just like queue up Netflix and then run around the map and all the rogues would be in the same exact spots and he just one tap them all. You just can't do that anymore. Like sometimes they're just going to be in a bad spot and you can't just like cheese them from certain right hands. That's the goal, but it's not always possible. She took the rogues. 